Hi viewers, in this video we will be showing you how to make a country style fish curry, a very home style cooking, easy to make and within minutes and we are using a fresh sea bass, a whole sea bass that is cut into pieces and then we need some uh, curry leaf, green chili slits, two pieces, some finely uh, thin sliced garlic, ginger. Uh, it's almost like two is to one ratio two part of garlic one part of ginger then some drumstick that's a vegetable uh, why it's called drumstick because uh, the fruit itself looks resemble to a drumstick what you used to hit the drum that's where the name comes but it's a very nutritious uh, fruit that's very peculiar to south india especially kerala then some shallots small onions or it's called sambar onions and then you got some uh, kokum, that's a uh, tamarind, a tree tamarind, but that's slightly different than the normal tamarind. It has more black texture. It should be like a bit sweetish than very sour and a very peculiar flavor, like a roast flavor. And then some For the fish, the country style fish curry, we use the powder spices, we cook it as a paste, not uh, broil it, so we're using one teaspoon of turmeric, then coriander powder, two teaspoon, and chili powder. Chili powder, you need to be um, careful with that because some of the chili powder is very uh, spicy and low in color but we using the Kashmiri chili powder, red chili powder that's more gives a nice color but it's not that spicy that is perfect for this fish curry because you need nice bright color so we're using two almost three three and a half teaspoon of uh, chili powder then pour in some water mix it into paste and this we'll be adding after sauteing into garlic and uh, some of the other ingredients that we will show you later so this is ready now we start making the fish curry okay in a saucepan when it's hot add some coconut oil let's say two teaspoon so once our oil is hot start smoking Reduce the fire, put uh, fenugreek seeds, just a few, add uh, the mustard seeds. When it starts crackling, add ginger, saute, and it's slightly golden. Add garlic. At this stage, when it's slightly cooked, you can add a curry leaf and slight green chili. You can increase the heat a bit towards medium. And now add onion. I don't want to cut it. So while it's cooking slowly, the onions will be cooked. We saute it for another five minutes. When it starts getting uh, slightly brown, after five minutes, add uh, the drumstick. So now reduce your fire and then add in the paste. After adding the paste, you can add some more water. Don't worry about the water because you will be cooking slowly for a long time so the sauce get taken along with the fish and it'll get into a nice consistency so at this point of time you can check uh, the seasoning adding a bit more salt mix it up give it a boil check the seasoning 
once it starts boiling, reduce the uh, heat, put the mango pieces. Half of a mango should be enough, let's say 50 grams. And then add uh, the cocoon that's been uh, soaked in warm water just to get it rehydrated. Add the same water also. Then mix it thoroughly. After all of this, then check the seasoning again. If you need more salt, add it now before putting the fish. At this stage, you can add in the fish. A similar recipe you can try for the prawns also. Mix it just to make sure the fish is covered with the sauce. Start, you, you should not use a, a ladder just to mix it with the pan's motion like to unfold. And now reduce the fire to a very low uh, flame, the lowest as possible. Or if you can, you can move to a smaller burner, leave it for almost 30 minutes in a very slow heat. That means you just slow cook it for a long process. Then leave it there, check the seasoning again. And then we finish with some uh, coconut oil on top, fresh coconut oil. So after, after 30 minutes, the fish curry is ready. You can see the, the sauce being reduced. It's almost thick. You don't need very thick, but semi-thick consistency is fine. All the flavor is inside the, the juice. So now switch it off and ready to plate. So now to present the fish in a clean bowl. Put the fish head. And put all the recipes ready for the shallots that's been ready. Some mango pieces and some drumstick. So this is a typical fish curry country style or traditional home style. What you get at home will be spicy but with the yogurt.